Good morning students this is your english lesson in this lesson we are going to read unit number 13 tonking and the three legged stool from oxford reading circle so i want you to open your book and start reading with me tonking the little tailor sat up in bed and rubbed his eyes well he said that was a good dream the best of ever had hot cabbage soup thick red blankets and me a king whatever can it mean he scratched his head scratched cut and looked at his three legged stool what do you think he asked the three legged stool turned around twice and bowed bowed bent down i think your majesty majesty highness should go out and find your kingdom it said you are quite right said tomkin all i do here is mend shirts mend repair and stockings and sew on the mayor's buttons i will be off right now away away from place or position he hoped of hope jump he hopped off the bench and packed a bag with all his needles three reels of cotton and a pair of sharp scissors now i am ready he said but he paused by the door what are you waiting for asked the three leg stool i was wondering if i did be lonely said tomkin shall i come with you said the three legged stool yes please said tomkin and when when i am king i promise i will make you prime minister the stool spun around on one leg and sang promises promises one two three a king will never remember me oh yes i will said tomkin and they went through the door together tomkin walked along with hope a skip and a jump and the three legged stool trundled uh, along beside him trundled to move slowly they walked through a forest and over a hill into a valley sometimes they talked and sometimes tomkin whistled a tune and the stool danced on its three wooden legs tomkin and the three legged stool came to a stop by a wide river in the valley Oh dear, said Tomkin, I can't swim. Do you think my kingdom is on the other side of the river? It might be far or it might be near, said the stool. But as to swimming, just throw me in and hold on tight. Tomkin waded, waded, walked with effort through water. Tomkin waded into the rushing water. water holding on to the stool tonkin kicked and splashed on till he and the stool were on the far side of the river they staggered staggered walk or move unsteadily as if to fall they staggered up the bank and sat down to rest you are a good swimmer tonkin said to the stool when i am king i promise i will make you prime minister the stool spun around on two legs and sang promises promises one two three a king will never remember me oh yes i will said tonkin Tonkin and the stool walked on. They noticed that the grass and bushes on either side of the path were dusty brown. The trees had no leaves, and the earth was hard and cracked, cracked, broken. It hasn't rained here for ages," said Tonkin. "But it must be going to rain soon. There was a huge black cloud swirling around, swirling round, swirling move in a twisting pattern." the top of the hill ahead of them they could see a village half way up the hill and beyond the village was a castle maybe that's my kingdom 
Tomkin said. Maybe it is, said the stool. It certainly looks as if all the people have come out to meet us. The three-legged stool was quite right. Many men and women and children were hurrying down the hill towards them. Tomkin shook his head. I don't think I want to be king here. He said, these people look sad. A bony little girl reached Tomkin. A bony little girl reached Tomkin and the three red stool first. Oh, please, she gasped, clutching at Tomkin's arm. Please, have you come to meet, make it rain? What do you mean? Tomkin said, there's the biggest, blackest cloud I ever saw over there. It must be about rain, puddles and ponds and lakes and seas. The little girl began to sob, although not one tear came out of her eyes. But that's just it. She wailed. Wailed felt deep sorrow for. The cloud is always up there, but it never rains. Our rivers have dried up, and we have had no water for months. Our cows and sheep have run away, and we have nothing left to eat but one cup full of flour. If it doesn't rain soon, we will all dry up into dust and blow away in the wind. Tonkin looked around. All the people were glazing at him. Glazing looked steadily. Their eyes huge and hopeful. He looked up at the black cloud. Well, he said. Oh, said the three left stool in a small voice. Doesn't that cloud look full of rain? as full of rain as a bag might be full of needles and reels of cotton, but one snip of your scissors and they would all fall off. Snip to cut with a small quick stroke. Oh yes, said Tomkin, how clever you are. When I am king, I am certainly going to make you prime minister. The stool spun around on three legs and sang. Promises, promises, one, two, three, a king will never remember me. Just you wait and see, said Tomkin, and marched on, and he marched on up the hill. Be careful, the stool called after him. I know what I'm doing, said Tomkin. Up he went until he was at the top of the hill, and a huge black cloud was just above his head. Tonkin pulled out his scissors. Snip, snap, rip. Tonkin cut three long slashes right across the cloud. Whoosh! The rush of rain washed him off his feet and sent him gasping and tumbling all the way back down to the bottom of the hill. Hurrah! Hurrah! shouted the people and they danced round in the silver sheets of pouring rain. Pouring flew rapidly. They laughed and they sang and they picked up Tonkin and carried him back up the hill to a castle. You must be our king, they said, and they sat him on a golden throne and put a golden crown on his head. They fetched him hot cabbage soup and soft white rolls and they showed him a bed heaped with thick red blankets. Tomkin's dream had come true. He didn't fall get his promise to the three legged stool and they all lived happily ever after thanks for listening now come to the questions question number one is what was the stool sure that the king would not do the answer is the stool was sure that the king would not remember him question number two why did tom can think it was going to rain soon the answer is Tonkin thought it was going to rain soon because he saw a big black cloud. Question number three. What happened when Tonkin cut open the cloud? The answer is, Tonkin was washed off with the gush of water and went gasping and trembling down to the bottom of the hill. Question number four. In what ways was the stool helpful to Tonkin? The answer is, the stool helped Tomkin to cross the river and told Tomkin to snip the cloud to make it rain. 
question number 5 what do you think was the moral of the story the answer is the moral of the story was do good have good